Here we go. We got to wind up here one more time. Kyle Zirkus, Rick Boyer, and Daniel Boswell all in the uh, Class 11 bugs we see back there. And, of course, Rob Orr, Brent Feenstra, Anthony Chusey in the mini stocks, and then Justin Miller. And we got uh, Zach Gudenkoff. I'm actually looking for uh, Justin Miller there in the 99. I don't see 99 there. Did not make the call. Daniel Boswell, a uh, good run there, unfortunately, with the fly. Last day. Rick Boyer took the win yesterday. And, of course, uh, Bean Struck and Gutenkopf for the winners in the three perspective classes that are out there right now. The Superstock, that open V8. Then the mini stocks we call the Pick Apart class. And then the class 11s, the People's class. Amazing things that these class 11 Volkswagens can do. It's just mind-blowing watching them on goat trails and over boulders and down sides of mountains. It's just insane what they can do in Baja. It's really cool that they've, uh, you know, become part of the short course world now. We saw them in Nitro Cross. They're running with all those guys. They call them the, the Baja Bugs there. Which technically, the Baja Bug was... The ones with the open rear ends, the big stingers in the back, jacked up. These are full fendered class 11s, but uh, hey, as long as they talk about it, I'm happy. And there it is, green, green, green. Out the battery says, we're going racing. Good cop out front once again. Beanstra, or and Choosy. I want to see those class 11s get up there with the mini stock, start dicing with them. Man, turn number three looks just perfect right now as they rotate around. Not too wet, not too dry. They're throwing a nice little roost out there. You're not going to see a big roost out of the class 11s there. I believe these things only had... Original from the factory, 35 horsepower back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my cart's got more than that. <laughs> we're now at the 1600s. We're looking up to upwards of 80 plus horsepower, which is not much more than a 450 mod cart <laughs> still. But just love class 11s for sure. Well, I got to call out my wife. She's on her way here from San Diego or from Oceanside, coming across the country or coming across the state on 10. I looked up in that 360 thing. She's going 83 miles an hour. She's an hour away, and she's watching us right now. She's watching us right now. All right, Arizona State Patrol <laughs> did not hear that. <laughs> Good cop goes by one more time here. Put another one in the stripe here. Out of north, northern Missouri, about an uh, hour, I guess, north of uh, Wheatland, Missouri, yeah. as a landmark that we use. Good cattle country up there. Three, looks like the three uh, mini stocks are pretty separated right now. Oh, man. Yeah, Rob Orr's out in front. Brent Veenstra is in that second uh, position. Rob Orr's truck is just bouncing like a pogo stick off these jumps. Got uh, Choosy up there showing off his brand new step side fenders. <laughs> I asked him if it messed with his aerodynamics a little bit. Last 11's car, uh, let's see, Boyer. He's having a pretty good weekend. Set fast time on Friday, one yesterday, leading the race again today. Yeah, and then, of course, uh, Daniel Boswell yesterday was leading the race until he got a flat tire over here. <laughs> Such a bummer. I think the next person that's going to be our, the next millionaire in off-road racing will be the one who would start producing parts, stock parts for VWs. 
Because uh, the junkyards are kind of like starting to run out of that stuff. And, and why I'm drawing a blank, they're right down the street from my house. They make all out of the aftermarket parts for them. They got to stay stock. Stock configuration. That's the thing. Well, they are stock parts. They otherwise, otherwise, you wouldn't have yeah what you got here. Oh, choosy. It's happening again, man. Class 11 cars. Yeah, he said he was having issues with that thing. That's the old motor in it. And unfortunately, the new motor they put in went kapooey already, so they had to put the old motor back in. It's like, I can't believe I'm running from bugs. <laughs> so we should be getting, it looks like, the cop yellow this time around with good cough. Is our overall leader in that super stock. Now, Dave, you've seen it happen, but these super stock trucks, they got, what, 18, 20 of them on the track? Yeah. And they're all like they're that. Insane. They're all fast. And, I mean, it's just this side of being what the Class 8s for short course was 25 years ago. Oh, yeah. And these trucks are quick. They're, they handle well. The driving talent behind the wheel. Yeah. I thought Juicy was going to pull off. He let the bugs go by, actually. They're out here doing a couple of laps. You know, Zach and his family. I believe it's his dad and his brother, if I remember right. But uh, they're partly here to promote this class. You know, to, to prove a point that they want to, they want to travel. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'd we love to see them at, uh, you know, some of the races out here, be part of it. And uh, it, it would be awesome to see, ten, like you said, 10, 12 of those trucks out there banging around. Some of their programs are every bit as professional as, you know, Greaves and GK. So Brent Beeser crosses the line in that second spot. He'll collect that yellow. So yeah, look at this. Rick Boyer's got a little <laughs> challenge on his hand. Make that car wide. Zach saying, hey, man, I want to get up there up. He drifts a little wide coming out of that final corner. Rick Boyer will hang out of the spot when they cross the line. Zirkus is in second. Boswell third. Choosy comes up behind as he's third in line with the mini stocks. Guttenkopf is the overall leader. And just because the pace lap is slow doesn't mean the bugs. They need to give up the speed and catch up. Our next race coming up will be limited buggies. Our limited cars will be coming out. If our bugs catch up. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Well, the traffic starting to appear. Slide bug? If you start that. <laughs> There's three of them. Slug, slug, slug. My wife being from Detroit, she does that to me with the price, she really? the price for 300. Oh, really? <laughs> 300. 300. That's funny. No, for real. I'm not making That's awesome. How can I make that up? <laughs> I like your wife. <laughs> oh, my God. And we're back underway. Kuttenkopf uh, jumps right out there real quick, and Orr and Dienstra still battle toe-to-toe -to -toe as they go. Juicy really off power as Boyer, and it looks like uh, Zach uh, Zirkus, Boswell. Man, Juicy can't buy a break. Yeah. It's almost like he's popping out of gear. And... Is that what it is? Transmission got... popping out of gear? Just got no power. Nah, it keeps popping out of gear. The boys yeah. are right there. Yeah, but that thing's just, even when it's in gear, it's not performing like it usually does. He's got some gremlins. That thing sounds just so smooth and quiet as that goes by. The truck handles so nice. Really watching how he sets up in these turns. And they got the track perfect for him right now. Yes, that was a uh, stock truck 
in that class, stock class truck that um, Tim Jones and the regional series started out here to create a new class. That was run as a stock truck out here back in the day. So he came out here and ran here before when uh, Tim was running it. No, no, this he bought it from somebody that ran. Oh, I don't really? Know, I don't know which truck it was, but he bought it from a driver out here. Oh, nice. And took it back and, and uh, built it, reconfigured it to uh, Champ Rules, and went racing up north. Well, if you're going to buy a vehicle, you don't want to buy one from the north. You want to buy it here in the uh, west. <laughs> it's it's rust-free, pretty much. Oh, Boyer still controls. No, I'm sorry. Zirkus made the Zirkus. pass. Boyer made a mistake and fell back two spots, so he finds himself in third now in class. Boswell, Daniels uh, back in that second position. But, oh, boy, here comes Rick. He's got some ponies. He had an extra uh, pony under there. He's got, what, 52 horsepower now. <laughs> uh, so there'll be two laps remaining this time by two laps. And uh, I hate to say it, but this track is very close to being gone. Lots of dust being picked up, and um, they're going to have to go to work on it during the break. Otherwise, it's going to just be nasty the rest of the day. Well, traffic starting to uh, back up on the 10 already. Maybe it's a good thing my wife is coming across in the ten instead of the eight. She'd be coming up from that direction yep. right now. I'm not going to tell her that. <laughs> so she's driving out here, picking you up. You're going back to Oceanside to pack the kitchen in? No. Well, she's coming out here, picking me up, taking me to U-Haul. We're picking PJ up at the airport. The airport. Okay. Going to pick up another U-Haul. Spend the night, then tomorrow morning head back to Oceanside. Hammer down. Yeah. Yeah, the next time you see me, I'll be all hunched over and calluses and bloody knuckles. Whipping. <laughs> White flag is out huh? as Zach Gunkoff goes by. Followed closely by Brent Greenstra and Rob Orr. Kyle Zirk is still out front. Rick Boyle's now moved back into that second position, as we said earlier. Daniel Bothwell in that third position. He's looking for a redemption after yesterday, but still plugging away. Plus, unless Zirkus has a major issue, I don't think Rick is going to be able to hang no. him. Fill him in. Check and flag is up for Zach Goodenkoff. Rob Orr is going to take the win here in number 15. The mini stock class. Frank Dienstra. And now we're waiting for the class 11s to come around. I do believe Choosy has lost a bedside. No. Yes. Go back and get it. And I see it right there. Oh, don't run it over. No. So Zirkus will take the win, Boyer in second, Daniel Bosworth, uh, Boswell will round up the podium in the class 11s. We want to thank them, even though there's only three out. We started the weekend with five, the two broke. But we want to thank them for coming out here and being a part of round seven, six and seven of the uh, Great American Short Course Series. So we're going to send Dave down trackside, talk to our top three finishers, our top finishers in all three classes. In just a moment, we'll pop up that backdrop. Hand out some chocolate milk to the winners and get ready for limited buggies, limited cars coming up next.
All right, we'll go ahead and bring up uh, Zach first here, and uh, we'll talk to him. Well, we were up there, Zach, uh, earlier, and we were talking. Uh, I'm going to get up here, too, but how, how that track looked with you guys. I mean, it looked like the dirt was perfect. The truck was just handling beautiful. Yeah, I'm used to working with a uh, with a, a cushion that's already developed from races before. So we're in there working the cushion. When I was going through the pace lap and the competition caution, I was trying to work in my own groove. But uh, the dirt's really nice. I'm surprised. You know, people talk about how good the dirt is back in the Midwest, but you guys have kept it watered and kept the track smooth, and it made for really great racing. So. And with the heat and the wind, it's just not easy. It's either sometimes too wet, too dry, but then Calvin just got it just right. Right. Yeah, it was getting a little wet there uh, on the practice day, but I know you guys got to keep the moisture to it because it's 102 degrees out, and uh, it's really worked in for race day. So, so what's up for you next? Uh, we're got a, we we're getting ready for Oklahoma, and too bad Superstock didn't get to run there. So we had a truck. We were like, well, let's come out here, but because uh, the truck's got to get tore down for next year anyways, so might as well put some more laps on it for the same money. So, Well, Zach, do you like to thank some of your sponsors? Yeah, I'd like to thank Unique Label, Goodenkoff Arms, Max Motors, Mark One Electric, Birch Construction, Self and Sun Diagnostics and Repair, Tommy's Garage, Heritage Farm Power, CBR, Cartex, Scat Crankshafts, uh, my wife, my family, uh, Coulter watching at home, my Uncle Marion watching at home, and my mom. Uh, thanks to everyone that gets me out here, and uh, looking forward to next year, see what next year brings. So. Well, we'll keep an eye on Zach Gudikoff, everybody. Can't wait to see what he does next year and uh, be part of the new AOE series going on. Congratulations. Thanks for coming out, man. I appreciate it. Go ahead and bring up our mini stocks up here, and then we'll get our uh, Class 11 Warriors after them. All right. You made it. <laughs> we were wondering. By the way, yeah, we were all making these comments. You have these beautiful new bedsides. It looks good. And all of a sudden, we see it laying in the middle of the track. They got it for you, though. Well, I'll make it a little bit better. You can afford a new air filter for it now. <laughs> but, uh, man, I know. It's a gremlin after gremlin. You've been chasing the new motor, puked out coolant, put the old motor in. Now it's, what, popping out of gear. Man, that, that girl, she's just, just can make it to Victorville. Uh, yeah, she'll make it to Victorville. It's like making a sick horse run. You know, you just got to keep feeding her carrots, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but if you keep feeding her dollars. <laughs> yeah, carrots are dollars. And so eventually we'll chase the issue, and then by that time the season will be over. So we're already looking forward to next season. Uh, we're just going to finish off strong. i got to thank my wife. She's uh, sick. She's been stuck in the RV all weekend, and so she's finally feeling good. She's uh, weathering this heat, and uh, I love you, and thank you for being my number one support. Everyone back at home, La uh you guys, Great American Shore Course, Poppy, Lee, Dave, um, everyone involved. Um, Eric as, as well. Thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you guys in Victorville. Anthony Choosy, everybody, and glad he made it here to the podium. Got to move on over here and talk to uh, Brent Feenstra. And uh, <laughs> there's a $100 gift card there to k in for you. So, man, turned into you and Robin Orr just battling it out. Yeah, I just, I just didn't have it for him today. I just... Uh, pushing as hard as I can, but he just walked away from me on every straightaway. So uh, anything, any changes going to do for going to Victorville, or it's a whole other setup for that track? Nope, I don't even prep the car. <laughs> I just bring it. I wipe you don't even it. wash it, right? No, no, sometimes I might wash a tiny bit, but that's about it. Like, legit, that's all I do. Just take the blower and blow it off, right? Yep, yep, exactly. I think I still have dirt in the car from Glen Helen. <laughs> well, who would you like to thank, my friend? I just want to thank everybody for coming out, uh, Lee and Poppy for putting us on, and my friends and family that came out, and my wife for spotting for me and yelling at me. Uh, and yeah. Brent Feaster, everybody, give me a round of applause here, second place. And Rob Orr, they didn't have anything for you this time. Yeah, it worked my way today, so I got to be uh, basically feeling pretty fortunate about that. And uh, 
it's still fun, still competitive. It's still something where, you know, if you make one mistake, you're in trouble, you're battling again, you know. So uh, it's just fun. It's part of the class, like we say all the time, competitive, fun, close. I happen to end up on top. You know, I can't take that for granted because I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glad I'm on the podium. There's only three of us, right? But just, just to get up here and finish and, and everything is, is a feat. So um, I'm fortunate today, and that's how it worked out. Well, you like to thank some people? Yeah, first, Mr. Greg Hearn. Stand up. Stand up. Never spotted before. I showed up without a spotter. He picked up the helm and said he'd do it for me, and he did a fantastic job. He'd made the calls. He was telling me about the corners. Um, he did a great job. And, uh, you know, this, this is as much his as it is mine. So thank you, Greg. And then second, I want to thank my wife for, for her and I doing what we had to do to get through everything this weekend. Um, she's always got my back and reminded me of everything I'm forgetting. Um, Arturo Tires, Action Sports Canopy, uh, Coast Appliance. Parker Pumper, uh, Jeff Ward Designs, Gas, um, the owners, Bergeson, to uh, Redlands Toyota, everybody that puts in what they do to let us do this and come out and have fun playing the dirt. Right on. Let's give it up for Rob Orr for one more time. Anthony Cheesy, Brent Feenstra, and Rob Orr on top of the box. All right, we'll go ahead and bring our Class 11s up here next. All right, good to have Boswell and all these guys here, and of course, uh, Brooke Boyer, and then, man, up on top, you got to change it up a little bit, so, how you guys doing? You having a good time? Oh, we had a great time today, man, great time today. Uh, beautiful weather, track was awesome today, uh, nice and dry, not so wet like it was yesterday or in practice. Um, thank the family, thank the friends, everybody that came out, thank you so much, especially my wife, Kate, she is a... Uh, been the leader of this organization and just helping out immensely so thank you ollie b thanks for being here cora jane love you baby and uh gas co-driver tom everybody that is supporting the organization and letting us come out and have fun well definitely the people's class i always say class 11 is yeah yeah definitely the people's class it's great thanks well, Ms. Boswell, we're going to go ahead and move it over here to uh, rick boyer here in second place and move around here <laughs> Rick, a little bit different from yesterday, and uh, looked like you uh, got a little out uh, speed for a while in the back, but I watched early on, you were, you, got, you dripped back, and all of a sudden you just had this burst of speed in the back straight. Well, my energy held in for a while. I, I think I did something wrong online. I thought this was a, a Class 11, a Legends race. All these guys are young guys, but I'm not complaining. I love the competition. These guys drove good, clean. It was fun. Yeah, I probably fell back, and I may have waited too long, but uh, he beat me, and that's that's the bottom line. And I thank my wife for coming out and supporting me, and uh, my co-dog Steve, uh, everybody else. Uh, it's a great organization to run with. It's fun. We just need to get 45 Class 11s out here to run with, and then you'll see some fenders flying. You'll see some fenders flying because it takes a while to come run short course and not touch each other and be clean racing, and, and it's possible, but, I mean, Accidents do happen. You, you know, it gets a little wet, but uh, uh, I've, I've done it a long time. It's it's a blast. Thanks again, Rick Boy. Everybody, second place, and the cause Rick is up here. We're gonna go talk to him. And uh, man, you found uh, a little speed in that machine. Yeah, man, we were on it today. Uh, it was that was probably the most fun I ever had racing. Even though there's only three cars out here, it was it was a blast. And like I said, everyone racing clean. We got a little bit of rubbing, but that is all good. So yeah, it was fun. Thanks for having us, us weekend warriors. Well, it's fun. It was great when I watched you guys come out of turn one and you just kind of drag race where you expect to go. And it's like, uh... <laughs> but it, it's just, they keep going. Those things are, I always say, those bugs are like Timexes. They take a lick and keep on ticking. Yeah, exactly. We, we built that bug uh, 16 years ago. And it's the same car, same, we, we probably cut 100 pounds, 200 pounds out of it. But, yeah, it's a lot different from 16 years ago and building it in, in high school in a buddy's garage. So, and it's still ticking. So, it's, it's awesome. Right on. Well, man, congratulations. Anybody you want to thank? 
Yeah, the whole uh, Zerkus clan, everyone's, everyone that pitches in for the car, uh, DDM and Mike and Tommy over there built the motor. It's it's a rocket ship. Uh, we got uh, Rich up in Prescott built our, our Action Auto, uh, Yokohama, just everyone that backs a car, especially my wife back home. Uh, we just had a newborn, and she had me come out here racing this week, so I can't thank her enough. Right on, Kyle Zerkus, everybody there with a win there, but once again, boss will. Boyer and Zerkus on top of the box. Back up to you in the booth, Scott. Thanks a lot, David. Once again, congratulations to all the racers out there in all three classes. It's very cool. And I got to say, uh, Zach and your entire staff, I think it's just your family if I remember right, but I want to thank you guys for coming out here and making the drive out from northern Missouri to be a part of this. And sure would be a kick in the drawers to have.